Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and I think I understand what you're saying here because there was a time maybe a month or two back when you could sit back against Alvarez mm. and they might not score against yeah. you. But is the point now that with Ilhan in particularly there, if you let them come on to you, the game could be out of sight, that, that they, could, they could score two or three? I think they've got finishers. I think they've got finishers in that side now. And something early on in the season they were struggling a little bit mm. with. Because of the preseason they had, it was a little bit disrupted. But now with Ilhan coming in, suddenly the, the, the shape of their game changes. You know, I say again, I think he's that focal point. He's so intelligent in, in terms of how he brings others into play. Particularly it, Tanaka, right? But particularly Tanaka. And how Tanaka is just sort of playing off him, off that left-hand side, in that half space, so to speak. You know, getting lots of joy with his movement across that, uh, that forward line as well and you know you can see it in terms of that goal scoring record in terms of the goals that he's been picking up 17 and 15 starts just the one behind uh, uh, Boris Kapitovic for Ilhan what's interesting for me is since he's come into this Albrecht Negata side he's been scoring goals for fun the only side he hasn't scored yet since he's moved over is Alain City Sailors so is it set up for him to get an, a, a goal against them uh, we'll find out over the course of this evening all right quickly give us a prediction for this one it's, uh, I, 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 I never care about numbers and scores yeah like that. I just want to know what we're going to see here tonight I, I, I'm hoping we're, we're going to see um, an end-to-end -end game of football at times because I'm a neutral. I don't care that you know the yeah. sailors might yeah. want to try and shut up shop here because I think it's important, as I said, uh, in this in this build-up to this, that the, the sailors can't afford to sit back too much and give Elbrex that confidence to play. I think they need to get stuck in yep. uh, and, and make themselves known and, and show everyone why they are the leaders and why they are defending champions. Scoreline-wise, I'm not quite sure what's going to happen, but I'm leaning towards an Elbrex Negata win just because I think they've got the momentum going for them. Right, there we are. That's why this is such an intriguing, compelling game. Because Roshan thinks on form quite rightly, Abarev should start as favourites. Kim Do-hoon has talked the talk. Can his champions and league leaders walk the walk tonight at Jurong East? What a game we have for you. It's the clash at the top of the table. You do not want to miss this one. The kickoff is on its way next. Yeah. Friday evening here at the Jurong East Stadium with rain coming down in the AIA Singapore Premier League. It's Albrecht's Nagata versus Lion City Sailors. 
a massive battle at hand here. First versus second always gets the juices flowing. And perhaps this week, more than most, there are plenty of questions to be asked. Albrecht Nagata know that a win here today would put them within a couple of points of their opponents and they would have a match in hand. The sides still would have also one more match to play a little bit later on in the season. So that leaves it so tantalizing for them. Lion City Sailors, an opportunity here just to build up on that gap. Five points at the moment. And what could have been had they not scored that last gasp goal at home in the last match against Tampanis Rovers. Heartbreak for the Rovers. Absolute delight for the Sailors because it would have been so much tighter coming into this one. However, much of that, as we all know by now, overshadowed by events just off the pitch. And that has uh, dominated the headlines, as you can imagine, over the last few days. And we might as well get the elephant out of the room very quickly here with the Rish Roshan Rai. So, Roshan, we, we know what has happened. It has been discussed ad nauseum in social media, uh, people at the uh, coffee shops, football fans uh, generally in Singapore. But at the end of the day, it comes down to the football, doesn't it? What's at hand here? The match is absolutely key. Though you can't help but think about what happened last week. No, you can't. I think it's uh, it's something that, as you said, has certainly sparked a lot of interest in uh, in the league and in what's going on, mm. uh, you know, on and off the pitch. We've had lots of comments, and uh, as you've mentioned, I never knew before this that you were a man who hangs out at coffee shops too much. But <laughs> great to hear that uh, you were listening into some of the conversations. I, I, you know, it's got to listen to what people are saying, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. What's, what's your favourite drink at the coffee shop, by the way? Uh, Tate Tarek, man. What about yourself? Extra hot? Extra hot. Kopi or Kosong for me. Anyway, back to the football. I think that it's great that people were talking about this and you're talking about the league and talking about the impact, you know, of, of, of that. And there was a lot of talk about the passion and the pressure mm. that was, uh, that was uh, on display and the pressure that Lance P. Sailor is under, that Kim Do Hoon's under. And even in his pre-match interview coming into this one, there was, he was... He seemed to be in a fiery sort of mood. He was a bit feisty, wasn't he? He was, and uh, it was a really good, really good interview coming into this one. So, you know, they would have taken that as an opportunity to really get a, give a kick up the uh, backside of some of these players as well. You know, the fact that they were on that run where they drew two consecutive matches and then they were able to, you know, almost dropping points against Japanese Rovers but coming away with a big win uh, at the end of that. Obviously, we don't know what would have happened uh, had that DC... Uh, committee that got together, the disciplinary committee on uh, Thursday, but having him here on the touchline, obviously, it sounds like an obvious question, but how much of a boost is it to have him here rather than, say, not available at all in the stadium? Yeah, of course it's a boost. I mean, we're not going to sit here and pretend it isn't an advantage for the Lan City Sailors to have their coach out leading them. Of course it's a boost for them to have him around. Well... We've got these officials today. I'm sure there's going to be extra, in, you know, inspection of what they're going to be up to because of just of what's happened in the lead up to this match. Mavic Taufik Dana is the man in charge. Lim Klok Heng, Taufik Ahmed and Mama Taki, the fourth official. Let's have a look at the lineups here because uh, we'll start with Albrecht's two changes uh, that certainly you would think strengthen the side from their 5-0 hammering of uh, young lines. Jun Kobayashi, the skipper, returns for this one as does Daichi Omori uh, to really strengthen that left-hand side. Uh, Sambongi misses out. He's one who's been filling in uh, time to time and Zamani Zamri as well has to make way for this one. But they are certainly a lot stronger, you would argue, than they have been before. Tadanarili, of course, still continuing his rehabilitation from that collarbone injury. They'll have plenty, of course, also fit for selection despite coming off in that last game. Now, for Lion City Sailors, the other point of contention, I suppose, tonight would be the team selection for some. Anu uh, starts today, as does Hafiz Noor. That means Ikram Rifki's on the bench, and Saiful Akbar also has to make way. Uh, people would think it's such a vital game, Roshan, that uh, you'd want to get arguably the best player in the league uh, starting here. That's Maxime Lestien. Uh, you know, you've you made very clear your thoughts uh, when Tanjong Paga did not start 
some of their best players previously. Um, what, are you, what are your thoughts on today's? Yeah, I mean, it's, it, I think it's quite different. They have two very different squads. I mean, the, the resources are <laughs> resources are cheese, completely right? different, right? Yeah. Land City Sailors. I mean, whoever sort of put out, you still say it's a, it's a very strong yes. side, you know, full of uh, Singapore internationals, uh, lots of experienced players. I think Lestien actually has a bit of an injury concern, and I think that's perhaps why he hasn't. Um, uh, has, didn't start the last game and he's on the bench for this one. You know, we saw him come on against Stampede's Rovers and I think it was a, almost a case of, you know, sort of break glass in case of emergency kind of situation. <laughs> we saw his left thigh, a lot of strapping on his yeah. left thigh. So I think there's actually a bit of an injury concern with him. Uh, and it's probably going to be, again, one of those situations where if they are really struggling, then they'll call upon him. Boy, that worked though, didn't it? It certainly did. I mean, it made such a huge... He comes on and changes the game. And it's link up with Diego Lopez. You know, just... It looks so simple. It's a give and a go. A yeah. one-two. But the way uh, they do so it... It's so effective and so quick. Yeah. So effective and so quick. Um, but look, they've got, they've got really good options. As for Kim Shinook, I don't think he's been playing particularly well mm. this season. Um, I don't think he's been linking the play for the Lion City Sailors too well up front. Yeah. I think Song actually playing in that sort of number nine role or false nine role, or whatever you want to call it, however you think he plays that role, sort of links the play a lot better for them. And he's much better in his pressing game. He's a lot more aggressive. He's very powerful. Uh, and he works his socks off up front. There's a lot more mobility uh, in that forward line when he's leading the line, Song. Talked about people who could change games. What about that young man there in the orange for... Arbrecht's oh, Gata, what a signing he has been. Eight goals in seven games as we have kickoff here. Yeah, they've been so impressed with the impact that he's made since he's uh, come into the club. You know, scoring goals for fun. Um, and, you know, what he's done as well in terms of his role tactically is he's given them that real focal point. Mm. As I said in the build-up to this, uh, in the pre-match show, it, it's sort of given Tanaka a bit more freedom now to just roam across that forward line. And you'll see him on that left-hand side, but you'll also see a bit, a bit of movement where he's allowed to run into the channels in behind the opposition defence. It also gives the number 10, Kan Kobayashi, what they've done with him as well, is they've pushed Push him a little up. bit further yeah. forward, playing just in behind uh, Ilhan Fandi. But they've also sort of given him that freedom to go and try and link the play for them in possession because now they've got Haria and Kakuta just sitting in midfield. Uh, for this Albrex Negata side, but Ilhan is so clever in terms of how he brings others into play as well. You just see Kobayashi, a bit of contact from uh, Hafiz No. What's been noticeable, Roshan, in, in these, the matchups between these two sides is the start yeah. from obviously one side or the other. And in the last game, it was Lion City Sailors who started really well. Yeah. Um, but the, pre the preceding games before that has been Albrex. So, start obviously quite key here. <laughs> Very important. You know, both these sides, you want to try and start off at a good tempo. You want to, you know, stamp your mark on the game. It's Albrecht here with a chance to put this defence under pressure, especially with the quality that Idetsu has on the dead ball delivery. Similar position from where he took the free kick at Jalan Basar Stadium and got the opening goal. Hassan Sunny's there. I tell you what, that positioning and... You no, know we can put a good ball in. I tell you what, today Russian as well, with this surface and the weather that we've got, could be a bit of a nightmare for the keepers. It's going to be tricky for, for the keepers, but you imagine that uh, it, it'll actually be pretty fun for the players because it helps the ball move along nice and quick. And that will add to the occasion, I'm sure. And that's Koga. Now, he looked a bit irritated there, didn't he, Diego Lopez? Yeah, the quality of the, the delivery. He wasn't too happy with that from uh, Faria City. I think he wanted it low, whipped in low in towards his, uh, in front of his run. Instead of high in the air, which was catching practice for Koga, really. See the frustration for Lopez. He says he wants it low in front of him. There you go. I'll tell you who that wouldn't have happened with if it was on the <laughs> left hand side. We know the deliveries we got Maxim Lestien. Quality that he gives. Nice to see fans on the other side. Not something you always see at uh, Jurong East. And particularly with this weather, that makes it even more impressive to have that fan, the fans yeah. on that side. No shelter Absolutely. out on that side of the pitch. So, you know. Well done to uh, all those fans sitting out there. It, it's got tremendous interest this game, Roshan. Not just because of what's happened this week, but we are talking about the two best sides in Singapore, bar none. Yeah, and the quality of football. I think let's not forget the quality of, of, of football. And, you know... Is it the aesthetics for you? They, they both play a, a good style of football. They both like to keep possession of the ball. They both move it quickly uh, in possession. They're both dangerous in counter-attacking situations. You know, there are various aspects to, to their play, and I think that's what you find from good sides. You know, they can do um, different things very well in a game of football. Launch forward there by the keeper. They just want to shepherd that, Haris Harun. 
Kota Tanaka and Ilhan Fad. What a combo they have been. One generally, of course, leads the line. The other one goes to the left. Good to see Ilhan starting, as we said. We might have a problem having been taken off in the last match. That's away by the hero of the last game, Pedro Enrique, who got that late, late winner. It was all happening, wasn't it? In the last couple of minutes of that match, yeah. motion, everything literally went off, didn't it? That's right. I mean, again, you could sense that, uh, you know, we were there. Mm. The ground, you could sense it electric, that, that wasn't pressure it? and that environment around it. And the atmosphere was incredible. And both sets of fans. Absolutely. Played their part in that one. All over him. It's cleared away by Anis Harun. Is Haria now playing in a slightly more advanced role than he was earlier in the season. This is Elbrecht in general, that from what uh, I've seen of them this season, is they like to start matches off quickly, they like to uh, assert themselves and try and get that early goal, and then they'll slow the tempo of the game down. Sidetsu steps across Norada to take that contact. And they're very good at doing that under, under Yoshinaga. In terms of, you know, knowing when they can slow it down, when they can go through the gears, when they can sort of invite a little bit of pressure before looking to try and hit on the transitions. Well, they are dangerous, these set piece situations, because of the quality of that man's delivery. 10 assists for the season coming into this one. That's brilliant. He's been dead suit. It's that ball in. And it's away by Anu. Off his no, he's got the pace, hasn't he? And can create problems here on the counter. That's a delightful ball, the flag. So far staying down, Faris up to Diego Lopez, who does take the shots and the save from Koga. Great counter-attack. Very good counter-attack from the Lion City Sailors, and it starts with that pace of Hafiz Noor, but he picks out the right pass, Hafiz Noor. Yeah, great header away by Anu. It's a very good defensive header away by, by Anu because he's dropping towards his own goal, but he gets enough power on it to clear it out to Hafiz. And then that pass into Faris Ramli, who makes that run in off the left-hand side before linking up with Diego Lopez. Important save from Koga. Lovely lightning quick break from the Lion City Sailors. That shots to the Sailors. Here's Shalit Sulaima with the corner. Back into the mix here, Faris, an easy one for Koga. Spotted. Johan Fandi. Here's Norada. Now Hassan Sani. Hafiz has given that away. It's back with Alvarez. There's Omori. Takuta. Sugita, one of their top players. Comfortable on either flank. Mori, it's up to Ilhan, Ilhan gets the shot away, didn't go in the side netting yet, that's what the referee says, gets so little to work with, did so well. It was a really good attempt from Ilhan, you know, because it, uh, it, it catches Hassan off guard a little bit, because you're not expecting, I think, in that situation for him to actually think about having a go at goal, I think Hassan actually has to make a save, touches it out, looks like it should have been a corner. Yeah. Have to be alert at the near post. Really good effort from Ilhan, you know, trying to catch the goalkeeper off guard. You'd have expected the player to hold, hold rather and than wait shoot. for that support to arrive. Right. So he decided to back himself, you know, turn quickly, it's try and have that element of surprise with his uh, attempt at a finish. It feels like the confidence is just coursing through his veins at the moment, isn't it, Ilhan? You know, it, uh, he, he's playing in a side that. Uh, you know, I think he's gonna. He, he really enjoys playing in because he's got players of a level, you know, of a similar sort of level in that sense that they're able to create chances for him and they're off that same playing wavelength. You know, players understand that, you know, they're, 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 they're of that same mindset, that they have that similar sort of quality. Which, which 
bodes well for Singapore football, right? When you're having young players who are then does. given the kind of does. The, the tools around them, yeah. they can prosper. I mean, you look at the team, it was, well, come back come to, back to that this. here because Song has just been given the ball. Mistake that's behind Diego Lopez and they scramble it clear, Albrex. You know what a difference it makes, right, for Ilhan, just going back to that. Um, playing for the Young Lions, yeah. you're not really able to see the full impact of what he can bring. Moves over to Albrex and you read, I mean, you know he's a, he's a good player. You see it individually, a very good player. But within a team that can sort of even bring out even more yeah. from him. It's been a dream move, really. And he is the red-hot striker at the moment in Singapore football. Not the top scorer by any stretch, just the recent streak. Foul on Anu. By his opposite number, Kakuta. There they come now. Alvarex advancing. Needs to be a better ball to Ilhan. Oh, it's up to Song. Now Pedro. The ball's skidding around, Russia. The mistakes are, are more like they happen today, aren't they? Your touch has got to be very good. Um, and the weight of your pass has got to be very good. It's a pitch that uh, isn't going to be very forgiving. But it's a lot of fun. I mean, for me, if you're a technical player, I think you enjoy playing on on a pitch like this if it's been watered. Yeah. Because there's no, you know, bobbles here and there. It kind of zips along the, the, the surface. It's nice true in that sense, yeah. right? Tension it, knowing that heavy touch, too much in the ball, so much riding on this one. Give and go, lovely work. Was there a foul there? Mori on Hafiz Noor, the referee certainly seems to think so. That's a really lovely battle down this side of the pitch. Great give and go. Kind of the kind of give and go you see from Lestien and Lopez yeah. on the left hand side. In this mm. instance, it's uh, Hafiz and Diego Lopez. I don't know if there was too much wrong with that. I think Hafiz has uh, done very well to buy himself a free kick. Yellow card as well for Omori. But that battle is fascinating and one to keep an eye on. Certainly one to keep an eye on because I was talking about Hafiz not having to track back and track the runs of Omori, but what he's also doing, because of the pace and the threat that he po uh, he, uh, he poses, in an attacking sense, Hafiz, no, Omori's as well has got to be careful of protecting yeah. the spaces in behind him. So it's almost like he's able to pin back the left back at times. Yeah, shout out to Lama. Free kick here for Lion City Sailors. Goes across the goal. Didn't really catch that well, did he? Faris Rumley. Ronald sends it back in to the box. Yeah, it's interesting because the last game, Amr al started, didn't he, uh, on that right-hand side. Ronald is looking to lift it into an area here. And he'd be thought of as, as probably a more defensive option, wouldn't he, Amr rather than a, a Hafiz Noor. Yeah. I mean, we have seen Hafiz Noor play at right back, but obviously they felt that, you know, they needed someone a bit more, as you said, who's a bit more of that defensive uh, mindset, defensive mentality in the setup. He's not going to push up too much, Amirul Adli, and, and that's not the what's required of him. Just make sure he keeps an eye on uh, the movement of Kodak Tanaka. <laughs> Anu going in. Oh, there, brings the ball back. by Amiru. A 
There's Kunimoto, who is starting to get a much more regular run in this side. Sends that forward. Oh, did he get a little touch on there? Ilhan, that was a gaping goal. Sugita headed his hands for a second. Opportunity, perhaps, then for Albrex. Yeah, it's good runs. Really good runs in behind. Uh, two players there, Ilhan and uh, I think it was Tanaka on the left hand side, getting into those spaces in behind line. City Sailors back line. No pressure on the ball here. Really good weight on the pass as well. Right into the run of Tanaka. Went all the way through. Sugita coming onto it. Oh. He tries to hit that with the inside of his, his, his right boot. Had to go with the outside or go with the left foot. It's the angle of uh, the approach. Not right from Sugita. That's why it goes wide. What a chance. Just seemed to back off a little bit there. Defence. Let's see say this. So they can play a little bit more direct when they need to. It's Idetsu. Now Sugita. You prefer him on the left or right hand side? I think he's more effective from the left hand side, Sugita. That nice little combo with uh, Omori. Omori, isn't it? yeah. And, and Sugita, because you know, he's a right footed player, when he plays off the left, he plays as that sort of inside winger and then inside forward. Uh, that leaves space for Omori down the left hand side to an attack. So he's had to. Sugita just have to adjust his uh, game a little bit, mm. playing more, of, say perhaps more of an orthodox winger down the right hand side. Although he does drift in play in field. Just that the angles of uh, attack, for example, the way you're sort of coming onto a ball, coming onto a path, the angles are, are different. Harris decides to go back. Keeper. Here's Amirul. Diego Lopez. Yeah, a lot of attention there. Maria. He thinks it should be a throw in for his side. Kobayashi. Back on the side today, the central defender. Good boost for them. Or breaks the gut up. Now Diego Lopez. Get that up to Song Weyong. Shout out to Lyman. Will across to Norada. There. That was uh, effective from Tanaka, back with Albrecht Nagata. What have you made of the first 17 minutes in Russia in terms of, we were talking about the starts from the sides and that was important? Yeah, I think the, the starts from, from both these sides have been pretty positive in a sense that the Lion City Sailors have actually been able to, on the counter-attack, you know, create a little bit of danger. Lovely touch from Fires there to get away from pressure. And from Albrecht, you know, they're starting to get into their Rhythm is starting to dominate the ball a lot more. Uh, Sailor's being forced just to sit back a little bit to try and hit on the break. Elbrex themselves have looked dangerous, so I, I think it's been fairly balanced, positive, been. fairly balanced from both these sides. Hafiz is being bested there by Omori. Intervention from Anu. Kakuta. That's that wide to Idetsu. A little bit of handling going on there in terms of uh, handling of the player from Tanaka. Tanaka. That's 
such a close call. Such a close call. So it's played into him. Perhaps a free kick for a foul. Yeah. Flag had stayed down. Yeah. Touch on by Anu. Important one from him. Ball in from Song. What a chance there. And Hafiz Noor hits it at the keeper. That's what I mean. Light City Sailors looking dangerous on this quick, quick breaks. Lovely run from Hafiz Noor. Great goalkeeping by Koga. And actually, he steps out so much from his goal. He kind of limits his reaction time here. Hafiz Noor unable to get it past the goalkeeper, but... Wonderful run off the right-hand side into a central position. Anu has made a big impact in this game so far for the Sailors, breaking up those Albrecht's attacks, winning uh, balls. And it was him that won that, uh, that ball in midfield that set off that transition. Precisely why he was brought in today, right? Yeah. I'll give them that uh, extra cover in midfield. Slotting in at the back in those defensive set pieces. Yes, Hafiz. He's been on the end of a few. Yeah, I mean, uh, Yoshinaga there was uh, wagging his finger. That is 100% a foul. This takes a touch away from Kankobayashi. Just mistimed it. Yeah, he knew what he was doing there. Help the number 11 up. He's okay. Up he's not. Thankfully, the way is still there, but they've got a goal. It's Anu who doesn't score many. And he's opened the scoring here for Lion City Sailors. Interesting celebration by Anu. <laughs> but I mean, talk about impact coming into this game and doing such good work on the defensive side of it. Free kick taken very quickly. Diego Lopez with that run. That's a neat finish from Anu. Has it perhaps taken a deflection yeah, on its way through? It did. I think it's a, taken a deflection there, and that's why it's put uh, Koga off, diving towards his right. Deflection sending it into the back of the net. Ryan City Sailors. He's giving a bit of variation on the set piece on that occasion. Playing it short, can take it quickly. Finding the goal. Fantastic there. From Anumantan. Just open the scoring here. Left his mark on the uh, scoreline and on the corner flag. <laughs> Marking out his territory. Now, what's the response going to be from Albrecht Nagata? Here's Idetsu. Oh, it's an immediate response! There's your answer! And this man loves to score with his head. Kodai Tanaka! with the immediate response from Nagata. <laughs> what a game this is turning out to be. What a response from Elbrex. Kunai Tanaka playing off Amirul. Have a look at his movement here. Oh, the quality of the delivery. He's onside, no issue. That's a lovely run. That's a lovely run. And, and, and Amirul, I mean, he's probably, when you look at that, he's probably going to have to take a look at his body shape and his positioning in that situation because he's facing towards his own goal. Tanaka just gets on the, the run on him. And there's too much power, too much desire there from Kodai Tanaka for Amirul Adli to handle. Wonderful delivery from Edetsu and a great finish from Tanaka. Another assist for Edetsu, another goal for Tanaka. Who is uh, now equal with Boris Kapitovic with 18 goals this season. He's almost been, as I said, more effective playing off this left-hand side 
Then going central? Then going central. Because his movement has been very good. And again, just there, great example of his movement for the goal. Lovely timing, keeps himself on side, looking right across that defensive line. Uh, taking advantage of the fact that uh, the defender's body shape was not quite right. He's got the momentum of the run as well. And, you know, Russian, he's not the tallest player in the world, but half his goals, more than half his goals have come from headers. Yeah. It's incredible. It's all, it's all about timing. I mean, wonderful timing. His leap. Fantastic. Well, if there was any doubt about the kind of game that we were going to have, it has been fantastic. But if you're Kim Do-hoon, you'd be hugely frustrated that you've conceded right off the back of scoring. Yeah. This is the most and, vulnerable time, right? And, uh, and I know we've, we've looked at Amaral and his shape in that situation with the goal. But the frustrating thing as well, as uh, we see Tanaka just uh, going down under pressure from uh, Adli, is that there was a lot of time and space for the cross to be sent in. There was nobody sort of quick to close down the first delivery coming in. You know, stop the crosses, because in your analysis of this, they would have said, Omori on the left-hand side, Idetsu, especially Idetsu down the right-hand side from a yeah. deeper area, he's got quality. You know what he's going to gonna bring. Those crosses yeah. in. You know what he's going to bring. And yet, it hasn't happened in that situation. He had too much time and space to actually get a touch, get his head up, put in quality. Are you sort of a believer in the adage that a team is most vulnerable just after after they scored? Does that hold true in your I, experience? I, I don't know about that. I mean, I, I really don't. I'm the kind of guy who would like to have a look at whether there were any studies done on, on something like that, rather than just. <laughs> is it one of these kind of these beliefs that just passed yeah, down? Yeah, like the how, gym? like how you know, for years and years, that myth of two 0 being a dangerous scoreline. <laughs> All the cliches coming out now. I'm telling you, yeah. one nil's a lot more dangerous, or, or even nil nil. Surprising that. <laughs> <laughs> but fr from our neutral point of view, I mean, this is this is fantastic, isn't it? It's excellent. It's exactly what I wanted from from this game. You know, both these sides, I think, going for it in their own way. You know, Lion City Sailors responding with their counter attacks, with their transitions, looking dangerous in those moments. Albrecht with a bit more possession and creating a threat of their own. It's got all the key ingredients, hasn't it? Towards Song. Now Anu, goal scorer. Good pass from him, looking for Faris Rumley there. timing of how long it was between the goals. Very long at all. Here come Albrex, just possessed. I wonder what that Shannon Salima, but he himself has lost out and then had a little nibble there at Sugita. A neat touch from uh, Kobayashi initially. Shannon was able to take it off him. Some frustration there. And it kind of puts your side under a little bit of pressure. Mm. It's just that frustration, I think, for Shannon in that situation. Sugita won it. He was going back towards his, uh, his own goal. Giving them an opportunity to put another delivery in. Out of the air so well, uh, immediately gets rid. Release Harris Harun. Here's Sukita to that danger man, Idetsu. Header straight at Hassan from uh, Bilhan. Uh, from more of a difficult uh, position here, but again, Idetsu is, is far too much time and space to get on the ball, get his head up. Just have a look at that there and swing across in. He's not going to look to try and beat his man, Idetsu. He's very happy to send it in from those deeper positions. 
So you're saying you, you'd gets, like to see him kind of close down? Kind of get someone. The moment yeah. the ball goes out to him, someone has got to look to try and close him down. And then if there's a runner on the underlap, it's Sugita, for example. They've got to try and sort it out in that situation there. Nor Adam and uh, I think Faris playing on the left-hand side between themselves communicate. Who's tracking the run of Sugita on the underlap? Who's going to close down Idetsu when he receives it in the wider positions? Certainly a dangerous outlet there. Boga equal to the task. He had Song coming at him. Because if the ball is not going in behind you, then what are you protecting that space for? And you're seeing that as a dangerous outlet, aren't you, on that right-hand side? It's led to a goal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's put in another but cross he's, there. he's putting quite a few crosses already exactly. in this match. Let's see how they cope with uh, Hidetsu. So really growing his influence on this game. Pretty see, that's what they need on the left-hand side. It goes out to Omori. Papi Snow quick to close down. Ilhan. Had that one chance earlier on with that almost like a snapshot. Wow, it's a loose ball, it looked like for a minute. Well done, is there though. And it, uh, Farm Mark here at Jurongi Stadium. One all between Albrecht Stangata and Lion City Sailors. Mind you again, the gap between the two sides is five points. There's still a match in hand for Albrecht Stangata. But is it too early to say, Russian, that nothing but a win for Albrecht? We've still got enough games for them to still gain their ground? Yeah, I mean... As Noradam sends that over. He's more sure get there. Cross of his own. There's a Detsu. Clears on a great one. Here's Shada. Yeah, apologies for that awkward pause there. I just wanted to see how that cross from <laughs> Noradam would pan out. Mm. I don't think it's a... Uh, do or die, right? Do Not or yet. die. It's still a long way to go. Yeah. I mean, it's difficult to see Albrecht dropping too many points, or even Lion City Sailors. Anu, perhaps buoyed by his earlier goal. The players say, the fans saying, shoot, that comes off. Kunimoto will be a corner. Uh, space has just opened up for him to have a shot at goal. Nice link up there. Warriors Song into the run of Anu. Again, a deflection that could have caused an issue for Koga. Goalkeeper well, missed it. And again, clear now. We're all in the mix. Detsu clears. It's important. For Ilha, just to relieve that pressure. Oh, Goga completely misjudging the flight of that delivery. Bailed out by his defence. Took so really well to get up there, Faris. Well, to be fair to Goga, he's uh, made a couple of really important saves this first half. Yeah, just going back to that point, Russia, because obviously, like you said, they're not going to drop too many points elsewhere. So you've got to kind of take advantage when you're playing the team you're vying against, right? And it's one more opportunity after this. Yeah, the two sides. So on the, uh, as things stand, the final day of the season, if I'm not mistaken. I believe that they are going to meet in October. Just to confirm that for you while we plan proceedings as well. There's Sugita.
Oh, the penultimate yeah. round of the season. Not my 20 bucks later, thank you. <laughs> um, I kind of wish it was on the last day of the season, actually. <laughs> I wish you were right on that, but uh, it's not very often that you do get the, the league settled between the top two sides on the last day. So it's always great when that does happen, but it's not that common. But, um, yeah, so you want to profit every time you play each other, right? This is where you, yeah, you, you, you want to take do. the points because that's obviously denying them the opportunity because both these sides, you'd imagine, are not going to drop too many more. Also, you want to deliver a psychological blow. blow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And look at what happened the last time Elbrex beat Lance Correct. and Sailors. Yeah. They didn't okay. really recover, did they? They, they, they? they responded in a couple of those matches. Mm. After they started to drop points. Shot there from Kobayashi. We go up for the corner. Uh, first time I think we've really seen uh, Omori find a space down the left-hand side to work with. He's not had much joy, has he, today? He's not had much uh, space to work with down the left-hand side there. He's able to break away from uh, Hafiz No. Find a cross into the area. Some pressure there on Hassan. Just enough. Sugita. Detsu's still there, remember, because of the corner. Empire Mori. Now, this could be dangerous. Here's Diego Lopez. Just holding on in his run there. Hafiz Noor. He's got the pace. Oh, excuse me, Faris Rumley. Lopez! And that flag has gone up. They've had a few of these moments, haven't they? Song's not happy with uh, Diego Lopez. Says he should have left the pass from Forrest to, to him. But yeah, uh, oh, that's a close one. I think it's the right decision. It's the correct call. He is offside as it's played into him. And perhaps he just should have left it for the run of Song, who was onside. I'm not sure if there was enough pace on the pass, to be fair, from Forrest to actually get it to Song. But he wanted him to leave it. A few times they've been a bit exposed, haven't they? Alex Legata. We've well, seen the pattern of the game. Lion City Sailors looking dangerous on this counter attack. We've seen him create opportunities from those situations. We also seem to be playing quite direct at times, aren't we? Alex Legata. And it's changing things up at times, you know. Again, just that variation in their game. There's the ball. Mori. And that sometimes has been a, a, a criticism of this Albrex. He couldn't get that quick ball, did he? Could he? Song to Diego Lopez. There's sometimes a lack of a plan B in the past of, of, of Albrex sides. I mean, this is you're before talking they like won. way back. Yeah, this is yeah. before they because, started winning those titles. Yeah, because so, they've been pretty successful. Yeah, correct. But they, yeah. you know what I mean? They always yeah, had that, yeah. uh, just a tiki-taka style, yeah. but never much else. And then things began to change. Yeah, they are this left-hand side from Tanaka. And he's scored the next goal! Two for him and two for Alborex. This man is on fire. He's now the top scorer in the Singapore Premier League with 19 goals. What a goal. What a goal from Kodai Tanaka. Love the technique behind the strike here. But again, you have to question the defending from the Lion City Sailors. He's just being invited in onto his stronger right foot. Lots of space here. He's allowed to run in. No approach being made. Cuts inside. And you look at these two here, Amirul and Shadan. Shadan's blaming Amirul. He wants him to go and close him down quicker. But if he's been invited inside onto his right foot, then you need to have a player coming from that other angle here to step across and close off that uh, that option for a shot, that opening for a shot so towards the far post. Shadan needs to come in there as well, I think. And Obviously, it's a situation where Amirul as well, I think, needs to get tighter. Well, you're going to have a look at uh, 
those goals again at halftime with John Dykes uh, rushing. But do you think Hassan maybe could have done a little bit better? But he got quite a decent hand on it. Got a hand to it. Uh, I think just the placement, mm. enough pace on it to uh, to beat Hassan. Lovely, lovely shot, wasn't it? They have got the lead for the first time in this match. But again, it comes down to those basics of not closing down. Mm. Right, well, you just virtually allowing the opposition to have a shot, allowing the opposition to send a cross in. And that was just your same comment for the first goal. Yeah. Not closing down the cross. On the cross, yeah. So, Alvarex. All important lead. And only six minutes left of half time now. We had a quick response from Albrex earlier. We get one perhaps from Lion City Sailors. There's Ilhan. Offset forward. Tanaka. Put some pressure. Now on Amiral, who's well, see how he's feeling about things at the moment. Now Ilhan. And that was shudder to help out. Sugita. Pedro does enough and he's advancing forward. Diego Lopez that's behind Hafiz Noor. Are you seeing? The right hand side for Lion City Sailors is a, moment, a bit of a problem area now, as in right back where Amaral is, because twice now he's sort of been bullied. Yeah, he has been. And you're saying there's also a problem on the left, there's isn't also there? There's a problem well? on, the, uh, on the left with uh, Idetsu. Mm. But again, it comes back to, like I said, that variation in Albrecht's game. Early on, they were going a lot down the right hand side. Mm. Now they switched it out to the left, and they're finding spaces with those diagonal passes out. And they sort of draw Lion City Sailors to one side of the pitch the short passes and then look for the switch to the far side where as we saw there Tanaka is able to find a bit of space to then run in and attack that defense and as you see the tweaks post half time break We're talking about breaking the glass in terms of emergency <laughs> rush is this going to come a little early, do you think? Or are we still so much more to play, right? There's still a long way to go. And in the games between these two sides, we have seen a position that was struggling a little bit. Response. We have seen responses yeah. From, yeah. from both these sides in terms of the performances in the second half of matches. We've also seen late goals, haven't we? We have, yeah. In this matchup. Lovely work, Tanaka. Work the best ball though to his partner. There's Harris. We you know that uh, generally Yoshinaga very rarely makes use of four or five subs. Doesn't like to make too many changes. Very settled. 11, this man here. Kim Dohun is not afraid of making the changes. And he's got the bench. And he's got the bench to do to it do, as well. He? Yeah, exactly. Reminder of his bench is one Mahmoud, who was the uh, goalkeeper. Kim Shinook, forward, Ikram Ripke. Pull back, Maxime Lestien, we know all about him, Gabriel Park, Amrud and Asraf, another forward, doesn't get much game time these days, Adam Swandi, Saiful Akwa, and Bill Mamadou. There's no Adam, uh, going a little bit too uh, aggressively on a dead suit. It's very late. No problem with the second challenge from Manu. <laughs> he was, Manu was actually 
I heard the whistle go. He saw him screaming at the referee, I got the ball. Yeah, he did. The foul was with Noor Adam. <laughs> I think uh, Yoshinaga wants a, a yellow card for Nor Adam. Mm. It's actually quite fortunate to get away without the booking. Amirul, touch on that from Hafiz. Here's Sam. Is that a touch on from Anu? Back with Armorex. Here's Kakuta. Omori. Gets the cross in. And that felt a bit of a high boot there perhaps from Harris. Well, that's what he's, uh, he's claiming. I think he lowers his head to uh, try and meet that cross from Omori. No, nothing wrong with that from uh, Harris. Final few seconds of this first half. Until it's going to be just the one minute of added time. So I've got something on it. There's a foul in the area, lots of bodies in there. of that one minute. And well, Sugita. And as we wrap proceedings up here, Russian. Would, would you say 2-1 is slightly flattering or about right for you at the moment? No, I think it's, uh, I think it's about right. I think uh, Elbrex have had uh, uh, good control for most of this game. And uh, they've carved out those opportunities, he's taken those chances. I think it's, it's fair at the moment. I think LCS have had their openings from counter-attacking situations as well. But uh, aside from that, uh, Elbrex I think have had the better of this uh, first half. Thanks very much, Roshan. He'll be... Heading off to the studio for our halftime analysis. Anumantan got us going with the 21st minute goal to give Lion City Sailors the lead. Uh, a deflected finish, and the response was immediate from Arbrex Nagata. Header in. Double figures now, and headers for Kodai Tanaka. And then he scored a second. Not too long before half time. A wonderful, cold effort. But, uh, that will be analyzed, I'm sure, by Roshan in just a short while. Half time score here at the Jurongi Stadium. It's Albrex Nagata 2, Lion City Sailors 1.
of Alvarex Nagata to Lion City Sailors 1. Once again, Kodai Tanaka is the man who's made the difference. But the good news is we've got another 45 minutes of this yet to go. It's half time at Jurong East and uh, Lion City Sailors find themselves trailing. Roshan's just uh, summed it up nicely <laughs> on commentary there. A really appealing game, really entertaining, excellent stuff. Statistically, I suppose, really, you'd say, and, and as your impression was, that it was the home side who have had the better of this. And, and I think it's borne out by the numbers, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's fair. I think it's a fair result going into, into the halftime break. You know, Albrecht Negata, I think, uh, dominating the game uh, a bit more. Uh, against the Lion City Sailors and, and getting their reward for those uh, creating those opportunities. And the lovely thing about this game is it has been open. As you can see, there have been chances, you know, for there to be three and four shots on target. You know, and the other thing, we've spoken an awful lot about Anamantin's role in this game. And as you can see there, brilliant defensive work, setting up a counter-attack. This leads to an opportunity for Diego Lopez, who once again, of course, looks the most dangerous player. Yeah, he does. And you know, it's, it's on these quick breaks that Lion City Sailors have looked uh, the mo at the most dangerous. And uh, great save from Koga, this one, in an outstretched left arm there, Diego Lopez trying to find the bottom corner of the net, the far side, far post. Uh, quick lightning break from Lion City Sailors, great work by anu, uh, Anumanta, I think he's had a very good first half for the Lion City Sailors yeah. uh, in that defensive aspect of the game, breaking things up for them. Um, I like the pass initially here from uh, Hafez, who does really well to break away from Mori into Fares, into uh, Diego Lopez, just couldn't find the, uh, the opener. Lovely thing about this game is that the players we've highlighted at the start of the game have all featured uh, Ilham, for example. Here. What I love about this play is the instinct. Not many players take that shot on. Yeah, you know, you were saying at the time on, on commentary, normally in those situations you see a striker perhaps look to try and hold it up and lay it off to someone for a shot from a better angle. I like the run here, it's a very smart run in behind that defence and he tries to stake this shot quickly and I think it actually needs a save from Hassan there. Yeah, yeah, they might just have missed this one. This was, uh, as it turned out, a, a, an excellent opportunity and I think you'll look at this one again if you're Sagita and say there wasn't enough pressure from the defender to justify missing by that no, much, right? He, he, should have, he should have finished this off. He should have finished this off Sagita. This was a really great chance. Ball played over the top. There was no pressure on Kobayashi. He was able to play a, a ball over the top of that defence. Uh, and uh, Nora Adams just caught on his heels there, Sugita, with that acceleration into space. Let's have a look at the second of Koga's saves here. This one, I think, could have been placed a bit further away, but let's take nothing away from this goalkeeper. I mean, he's been very good in these one-on-one -on -one situations. He's been very good at uh, making these saves. But again, it's Anu who just breaks up the attack here at first touch. And again, quick transition as well. Lions City Sailors have looked dangerous. Just again, unable to get it past uh, Elbrex's goalkeeper on that occasion. What the game really needed was a goal. We'd seen plenty of entertainment, we'd seen chances, and then the most unlikely likely of scorers, albeit via deflection, Anu. Rich reward followed by an interesting celebration. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Anu, I think to his credit, you know, gets himself into a really good position here to have a shot at goal, keeps it low, which is important, takes a deflection on its way through. And again, this is a variation from the Lion City Sailors with a set piece, you know, instead of waiting for everyone to come up, uh, they take a short one quickly. But how about this for a reply? This was nicely worked, and once the ball comes in, well, the quality, of course, is what sets this one up as well. Yeah, you know, I think uh, Fires needs to get closer there to, to stop the cross from coming in uh, from Idetsu. But Elbrecht, to their credit, they work the space for Idetsu very well down the right-hand side. Just have a look at how they keep the ball here. And that means that Lion City Sailors' defence has to sort of drop back. And then you get the overlapping run from Idetsu. There's space created for him to send that cross in there. Lovely run from uh, Tanaka. Really well-timed. And he's, he's hungry in that situation. Want to go and meet it. Have a little look, Roshan, at the little step that Tanaka takes to the, to the left before he makes his run. That gives him the little run here on yeah. Amaral. And that gives him the, the, the inevitable win he's got the momentum along with him right he's running towards goal he can go and attack that cross and then uh, this game just when he thought you know it couldn't get any more exciting how about this cutting in on the right hand side Kodai Tanaka and I think let's start with the, 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 the power on the shot because you do wonder whether Hassan Sunny who's been so good this season could have done better could he it's difficult with the, with the pace uh, of this shot and the direction as well, you know, aim towards the top corner there. I think first of all, you need to look at uh, the defending in this situation. You're essentially inviting uh, Tanaka an opportunity to uh, go and run at you and then cut inside onto his favourite right foot here. I mean, you need to be closer. You need to be closer in those situations and close off those angles as well. Shadon, I think, perhaps can come across and him and Amiru can try and squeeze that space. Yeah, they could have stopped it, but there's no stopping Kodai Tanaka. You know, just the last thing on that one, the second replay we had there from the, the side on angle told you that it was the pace that beat Hassan mm. Sani there. He did get a hand there. The ball was just about past him by the time he touched it. So, great finish from a guy who's gone to the top of the goal scoring charts. That's the impressive outing we've seen. He's scored goals number 18 and 19 mm. this evening to go ahead of Boris Kopitovic. 
This is a remarkable story. We spoke about this guy at the start of the season. He's got no pedigree, so to speak of, really, has he? A top yeah. pro level. Yeah, I mean, you know, he's come in and uh, he's, he's having a fantastic season for Albrecht Negata. And again, I think, you know, that tactical tweak of Ilhan coming in has sort of released him a little bit more mm. in terms of giving him that freedom to play in off that left-hand side, more space to sort of roam in behind opposition defences. And he's just a player that's playing full of confidence at the moment. It's really good to see. I mean... Mm. As I said at the start of this, strikers will really enjoy playing in this Elbrex Negata side with the chances that they do create. Right, Russian, you've got some commentary to do. And yeah. as I said, when we came back for this halftime show, the good news is there's another 45 or so minutes of this to come. It has been an excellent top of the table clash thus far. And uh, we've still got plenty more of great stuff to come this weekend. We've got a double header for you coming up tomorrow. We've got Tampanese against Haogang, Tanjong Paga against Geylang International. Sunday's game is Ballastir against Young Lions. And then midweek action with Geylang going once again against Tampanese Rovers. But it's all about the second half from Jurong East when we come back in just a moment. The first half has been magnificent. And remember, there is so much on the line here. What drama lies in store for us? Find out by catching the second half, which is next. Two minutes away from kickoff here, second half in this AIA Singapore Premier League match between Albrecht Negata and Lion City Sailors. As you can see right now on your screens, it's Albrecht who are leading here by two goals to one. It is the best attack versus the best defense. And uh, well, at the moment, the best defense in the league is conceded two goals, Russia. <laughs> Uh, two very good goals. Yeah, I think two very good goals. The way uh, we had a look at uh, the replays during the halftime show, how Elbrecht actually created that space for Idetsu on the uh, uh, run down the right-hand side to actually send a cross in. It was really good approach play. And then Tanaka uh, with uh, great timing on, on that header. And then the second one as well. There was actually a lot of space for um, Kan Kobayashi to play a pass out wide to Tanaka. And then for Tanaka, it was far too easy for him to just run in, create an angle for himself. Yeah. Lovely technique on the strike though. Um, all about the pace and the power. The pace in that situation uh, beating uh, Hassan Sani. We can tell you there are no substitutions coming into this second half from either side. Russian, as we look at Lion City Sailors, uh, you and I were privileged enough to have a look at their facilities yesterday. In the opening, and I say privilege because it was something 
I think spectacular never never seen before in this country I've never I, I know I've never seen a training ground a, a professional club in Singapore have its own training mm. ground its own training center its own academy and and so well built so and well out, structured right? so yeah. well thought out it's it is a very well run club the Lion City Sailors and you have to give them a lot of credit for the yeah. work that they've done in the short time that they've been around of course people will say yeah they've got a lot of money they've got a lot of money to invest yeah but they've invested it Correctly. in the club they invested yeah. it correctly and they've done uh, the right things with it yeah a real joy that but uh, not so joyous on the pitch at the moment for the sailors it, the just to add on to that the mm. other thing i wanted to to bring up was and i think it's it it shows what can be done private sector public sector yeah. coming together for yeah. the good of singapore football yeah well said and uh, hopefully a blueprint for the future, talking for the future, there's Johan Fandi. Hasn't got his goal yet. He has been very, very good so far since he's moved across. Will he get the score sheet tonight? Are you perhaps a bit surprised? No changes? We thought maybe they'll just wait till around that hour mark. Five subs these days, of course, the rules. Yeah, no, I'm not surprised uh, that he's not made any changes. I think still just the goal in it. Mm -hmm. There's a few tweaks. Uh, I think on the defensive side, making sure that they close down a lot quicker. They're more compact in the spaces, in between the lines. Uh, and then in an attacking sense, you know, you want to show more quality on the ball, especially with your finishing. It will create opportunities. They do have the quality to do that, this Lion City Sailor side. So I don't think there's any real reason for them to panic right now. Yeah, be interesting to see uh, how they figure things out on either flank. In the second half, Lion City Sailors. Diego Lopez. That's gone out for a corner. But Netsu heads it clear. Well done, Fundy. Puts it out of play. Diego Lopez won't get that. Now Sugita. Whenever he's playing, we're really so impressed by him. He's not quite been at the races today, right? Yeah, but ha have a look at how aggressive Albrechts are pressing here. They want to try and limit the Lion City Sailors in those possession phases, and they don't want them to get into any sort of passing momentum, any sort of rhythm. I mean, quick, very quick to close down. Sugita just fouled there. Uh, going back to your point about Omori, yeah, I don't think he's been as uh, I don't think he's been as open for him in this game mm -hmm. as he's usually used to. And yeah, although we did see towards the end of the first half, him starting to get a little bit more involved on the left hand side, send a couple of crosses into the area. Also, doesn't have his usual partner in crime in Sugita playing with him. Here's Idetsu. Idetsu Sugita access is one that is quite impressive as well. These crosses, aren't they? And Hassan just tips that over. Yeah, Detsu and putting in a nice ball. Well, it's actually a good opportunity there for Jun Kobayashi. Fortunately, he just, I mean, technically you are supposed to head it down, but he's almost hit his own toes with that header.
Yeah, you, you know, this this Albrecht side have been so impressive this season. And just given the turnover, you, you can bet a lot of clubs are licking their lips at all these players, aren't they? Yeah, and you know, there'll be players here looking to go and uh, move on to either clubs in the Singapore Premier League or other clubs in around the region or even back to Japan, play the, at, at a higher level. Uh, we've seen that happen. Yeah. And I mean, Elbrecht themselves as well. I said, Lion City Sailors are such a well-run club. Elbrecht themselves are a very yeah, well-run club. You yeah. know, scouting has been incredible. You know, the structure that's been in place uh, has been uh, fantastic. And even more impressive given how young the players are and uh, the turnover. That's right. It's uh, having to almost rebuild every season. The smashed over from Amori. Oh, quite nicely for him. Sat up there. And across from the deck to taking a big deflection. Half is now a heavy first touch. Just helped on to Omori. To his credit, Half is quick enough to just close down Omori. Give him a clear chance to have a shot at goal. And it's back with Abrex. Here's Kakuta. Omori wants it. He now he has it. Kobayashi. Touch. There looks to be a bit of a yank from uh, Anu Paria. Yeah, and again, it's all come about because uh, Elbrex are uh, really setting the tempo here and playing with very good uh, aggression and intensity. It, it came about from, again, good pressing on the right hand side. They were quick to win the ball back, not giving Lion City Sailors any time and space on the ball in possession. Purpose here, Alvarex. Now the plane stopped. I think I just saw Blake Mishuto there. Oh, yeah. Oh, he uh, is there. Looks like uh, Shugic uh, Nishiguchi might be there as well. Nice to see that. Yeah, great to see that. So much at stake. And that, that stand is now nicely filling up as well with the rain having stopped. Uh, a good cross in, I'm afraid, as far as Albrechts are concerned. Well, it's been all Albrechts, hasn't it? Second half? It's been all Albrechts, yeah. The Sailors haven't gotten into uh, the second half. Of course, yes, you say there's a long way to go, but signs are not very encouraging at the moment. You'd have expected it the other way around, right? Yeah. Given that they were behind. They start off at a quicker tempo. Instead, it's Albrechts who look to have more, look to have more desire, quicker to close down, showing more quality in the pressing. Here come the sailors now. Song up to Faris. Looking for his own called effort. And just about there, looking to try and make me eat my words with that quick counter. But this is where, to, to be fair, this is what we've mentioned. Lion City sailors have looked at their best. It's these quick counter attacks mm. where they've looked dangerous. But it's, you know, barring Albrecht, this is not a tactic that they use on anyone else right is it how how easy is it for a team to transition to that sort of mindset or mode as Pedro puts it out for a throw in listen I'm sure it's something they would have expected coming into this game and from their experiences playing against Elbrex Negata they will know what kind of side they are up against they'll know that there'll be moments when they won't have the ball because of how good Elbrex are they know they'll be closed down quickly you know so they would have been aware of what they're coming up against, what they're facing. You know, Welcome. sometimes having a plan and carrying out the plan, two completely different things. We're gonna have some changes here. There we go. Shots of uh, Rashuto, Nishiguchi, and uh, Shugic. So Faris is out. He's replaced by that man, Maxime Lestien. Who, as uh, Wilson pointed out earlier, has a lot of strapping on that left thigh, doesn't he? The key thigh, yeah, as it were. Yeah, Lopez was asking for quality balls in. 
he just combines so well. The Lestien Diego Lopez axis is wonderful to watch, isn't it? It certainly is. They've got a wonderful understanding, and, and they know it as well. Danger here at the moment. Here's Tanaka. And the ball, Paris Harun in the way. Up to Song. Kurimoto there. Well, he's held on to it really well under pressure. There was a chance of perhaps playing Hafiz Nor. Didn't quite take that option. And he Adam. hung on to it. Nice touch for Lestien. Comes in field. Anu. Concerted possession they've had in that final third in the second half. Most of say this. I wonder if there's any coincidence in the fact that it's Lestian, but now come Albrecht's up the other end. Tanaka Kobayashi! The goal has come, but it's not from Sailors. Albrecht's Negata have extended their lead here. 3 1. Oh, that is such a good finish from Kobayashi and a very good counter-attack from Albrecht Negata. We said Light City Sailors have looked at their best when they're on the transition. Albrecht showing them how it's done with the finish at the end. The Tanaka carrying the ball forward before laying it off to Kobayashi. And he just, in those situations, it looks like the attacker is going to try and bend it towards the far post. There's a bit of a gap that he's able to squeeze it in at the near post. It's a lovely finish from Kan Kobayashi. Wonderful technique on that hit. We, uh, talked about the best defence in the SPL. They've been exposed here. Three goals now conceded by Lion City Sailors. Real problems, Russian. Real problems for them. And... Uh, you see half is normal to try and get on the end of this one. Kunimoto is quick to come across. It will be a goal, goal kick. Just to add to their irritation. Great challenge from uh, Kunimoto. Showing that he had the pace to keep up with uh, half is normal. Smashing his stride. Uh, it looks like they've got their number. And you look at this run from uh, the Lion City Sailors. Those two draws, mm. and the feet to Albrecht, those two draws, and then perhaps unconvincing against uh, Tampanese, and you just see that shot go <laughs> sailing over the bar. Or performance against Tampanese that really could have gone either way, game yeah. could have. Yeah. So on the way of the Fair. stags as well. This is only the second time this season they have conceded three goals in a match. The other one was a 4-3 against Haugang. A bit of a crazy game towards the end. A couple of mistakes made by Lion City Sailors, but they were very much in control of that match. Not something we can say here in this one, Russian. It's been very much Albrecht's regatta's half so far. Of down. Oh, 
Song. Good aggression from him. Here's Diego Lopez. And Rolando joins the attack here. Not good enough ball. Is that late from Harris? He will go into the book. I think he knew it immediately, didn't he? You see some uh, yeah. not so great body language at the moment. No, I think they're very open as they try and chase this game. I think Harris knows he's late to that one. He knows he's uh, going to be in trouble with the referee. He's trying to stop a potential counter-attack as well. He's hurt himself a little bit in the process. But they are all over the place at the moment, the Lion City Sailors. This doesn't look good. A bit of a wince as well. Reminder, there are just two points between these sides now, if it stays this way, with a match in hand. And they still have to play each other one more time. That's another look at that. Tanaka just uh, quicker to the ball. That doesn't look good on replay, does it? Well, there's a, a very good example of the, the kind of closing down we've seen, or attempted closing down anyway in this instance. Yeah, from Albrecht. I mean, immediately Sugita has put pressure on uh, Noradam. That's a cue for everyone else to step forward and press as well. Kakuta is trying to win the ball off Anu. Doesn't work out on, 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 on this occasion, but you can see the intent there yeah. from Elbrecht Nigata. You know, they're not sitting back and trying to protect their spaces in their own half. They are looking to tr try and put this Lion City Sailor side under pressure almost immediately. They don't want them getting into any sort of passing rhythm here. Yeah, case in point. This is kind of harking back to early in the season, is it, Roshan, when we saw in those early matchups in the Community Shield and then their first match where it was Albrecht pushing, pushing, pressing on Lion City Sailors right from yeah, the start. That's right. You know, and as the season has gone on, this Elbrecht de Gata side have just grown and grown. And with time on the training ground, you know, they've uh, really worked so hard to get to this point. Too much shown there by Omori. We've just gone past the hour mark, the traditional time when subs are generally made. This team has gone over onto this right hand side for now. Here's Song. To Lestien. Now Hafiz Noor. Here's Norada. Good challenge in from Sugita. Working hard, tracking runners. Making sure they keep pace with their markers. Good work from Sugita again. You know, showing a lot more desire at the moment, showing a lot more uh, intensity in their overall play. Well, there's uh, definitely a lot of intensity, a bit of aggression as well. We're going to have a couple of changes here for Lion City Sailors. Amiral Adli is off, Kim Shenok is coming on. as well that Anu is going off. He's replaced by Saipula. So presumably Hafiz goes into uh, right back Russian. Yeah, it looks that uh, to be the case. Oh, lovely work there from Ilhan. Holding the ball up. Given away by Kim Shinook, his first touch. Kobayashi back to Omori. There's Kobayashi again. Tanaka on a hat trick, remember. Lovely ball in to Kobayashi. Ilhan, contact he wanted. Oh, 
Oh, so nicely done by Haria. He's, a, he's such a good player, Haria. I'm a big fan of his. I've been watching him since the start of the season. He had to step into uh, central defence. Can play in central defence, can play in uh, this uh, screening midfield mm. role. Stepping up from Stepping where he was. forward, nice yeah. and composed. There's Lestier. Back on the left hand side. Now Norada. Go up for a corner. Fortunate to uh, get a corner out of that. Not the best of crosses. Pressure builds again. So a different dimension now that we have Kim Shinook up front, don't we? Yeah, and, and they've kept uh, Song on the pitch as well. Someone to play off Kim Shinook. There's Lestien. That's what I mean about closing off those angles and, and coming across and working together. That is no. Side for that. But look at the intensity from Elbrex here defensively on the defensive side of the game. I mean, Omori, yeah, you say he's doing his job, but he gets his body in the way. There's good closing down in front of him. There's not much space to work with. They're saying to the opposition, they're saying to the Lion City Sailors, we're going to make it as uncomfortable for you as, as we possibly can. You need to actually show your quality. We're going to make you work incredibly hard to break us down and to try and get anything from this game. But as for the Sailors, you know, at times it, 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 it's looked like, you know... Ball in from Lestien. It's a bit of a touch on Song. He'll keep this in. It's look like he's just given Elbrex certain openings, certain opportunities. He's not been as intense in the closing down. He's not been as disciplined in working together to close off the spaces Elbrex looked to try and work with. Here's Lopez. Space on the left-hand side. That's far too easy for Koga. Strong from Saifola, already he's come in and he's put in a couple of uh, strong challenges, just showing his intent to try and make an impact in the game. Radam comes out of the way, Kobayashi, Nakakuta. Here's Song for the Lion City Sailors. Desperate to get all one back and then see how that sets them up. Right, 25 minutes or so in this match, if we do some at a time. Hafiz Noor. Omori. Too easy. The ball back. Now Ilhan. Got options, Sugita to his right, he goes left, here's Omori, oh the chance, a golden chance. Caught two minds, what do you, what do you put yeah. that one? Yeah, <laughs> excuse me, I wonder if he was actually thinking about whether it should have been a cross or a shot, in the end it's neither really from Omori. But again, have a look at the work, it was Omori that actually started it, Yeah. you know, winning the ball off uh, Hafiz Noor. There's no space for the Sailors to work with and that's a credit to Elbrecht and the way they set themselves out defensively and the intensity again that they're playing at. Again, you can talk tactics all you want, but 
it also comes down to these basic elements of the game. Yeah. You know, your desire to work, you're closing down, you're shutting off spaces, putting opposition under pressure. Right now, it's Sailors who very much on the back foot. Needs to uh, be careful here, Nora. I'm already on a caution. Again, that was a cynical challenge. You know, he knows exactly what he's doing. He's telling uh, Albrecht's bench to compose themselves. I'm sure that'll be the last warning for Nora. Adam. Shinaga not looking particularly happy. Run up on a fine line here. Sugita. Now with Detsu. A low cross in into Shadan Sulaiman. Diego Lopez. He's got a bit of frustration today. to Hafiz Noor. Saifullah. Here's Norada. Towards Maxime Lestien. Ball in from Norada. Song running backwards. Always difficult like that. But they had to be patient in the build-up here, especially on his left-hand side. Nora Adam was able to join less the end in an advanced position. On a rare occasion, they were able to actually work a bit of space to get a cross into the area. Song's always moving backwards, away from the momentum of the cross. Difficult opportunity from the header. Saifula goes out wide to Hafiz Noor. He felt he was fouled. The officials don't take the same view. <laughs> Bit of asters there between uh, Tanaka and Hafiz Noor. You no know, inviting Tanaka on. He's going to get, uh, get him back later. It's because uh, he's being accused of a dive here. Uh, Tanaka has a couple of words for Hafiz Noor there. But again, the showing great discipline as a team defensively closing the spaces in between the lines okay you want to go out to the wider areas fine send it out into the wider channels but there's no space to send crosses in for the most part there you go there you go <laughs> there's the payback there is the payback on tanaka I mean, it was too predictable, isn't it? <laughs> he that? knew it was coming. Oh. I mean, I hope he feels that was worth it. What has that achieved? You've got a yellow card, I'm guessing. <laughs> uh, well, we'll get confirmation of that. You've now got a free kick you've got to contend with. I mean, it was cynical, right? It, it was. I mean, we knew exactly what was coming. Wow, I don't think he's even got a card for it. 
And he's gone away with the free shot, the free hit at uh, Tanaka. Oh, wow. Interesting. Perfect done that. Feeling that did not warrant a booking. Shigita. No foul. I think he managed to his own man. Here's Song We Young. Kim Shin he lashes that in! And they have narrowed that gap now, Lion City Sailors. It sets us up beautifully for the last 15. Well, it does, but again, I mean, they've shown so much intensity here, Albrex Negata, that they've ended up tackling themselves. And it's that mistake, really, that opens up the spaces for the Sailors to hit here. On this quick break, just loses out in midfield. Harris picks it up, he's on hand. It's a smart ball into Song, and it's uh, quality from Kin Chinook with the finish. 12 goals for the big Korean. Well, I mean, we couldn't have asked for anything more now. This is perfect, right? From those who have no vested interest in this game, just as a spectacle. Well, here comes Omori. Four of the last five games between these two sides have ended in draws. You know, that goal coming from uh, an Elberex mistake. But again, Elberex almost responding immediately there with an opening of their own. And straight away. that far yet. Is he? <laughs> See? Maxime Lestier shrugs off that challenge. Stands the ball up looking for Song Leung. From Albrecht again. by Kobayashi. Taken by uh, Tanaka. Here is Adetsu. Ilhan Pierce. Double control from Saikula. Well, it's a uh, you know, follow through there on Ilhan Saifula. Well, there you go. Now it's Hafiz Law. Did he just lash out there at Kodai Tanaka? Uh, that's uh, continuing from earlier. Yeah. Already get him a let off earlier. Well, Saifula, you know, initially was a really good touch and he's taken it away. And on the follow through here, just made a connection with Ilhan. Not the best of challenges from him, but he, the, the problem was he was actually isolated there down the right hand yeah. side. There was no options for him to go forward or to even go backwards. There was no one sort of supporting, right? supporting him, giving him that yeah. option to play it into. Well, they are going to make a change. It is going to be Ilhan who comes off. This is his first game that he's played in and hasn't scored, actually. No, the other one was against the Lion City Sailors as well. Ah, yes, that's so right. So it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's the only side it's I think he hasn't scored right. yeah. against. He's kind of had bits and pieces today, right? He's yeah, played his a, part, uh, tried to link up. Yeah, I think he's, he, he's played his role. He's done his part with the team. You know, again, I said he acts as that focal point for them. He brings others into play. And he's there to sort of pin the central defenders. That creates a bit of space for players like Tanaka to go on and work with. So this was unexpected, Tanarili, to recover as fast as he did. He had that collarbone injury. I honestly didn't think that he would necessarily come on today, just be on the bench and sort of be that unifying figure that, you know, but, uh, well, they're bringing him on. I think they perhaps feel they need that experience in the closing stages of this one. Like a galvanizing... Catalyst, right? Perhaps let's see how that pans out. Awkward. They can still finish here. How did that not go in? Right in front of goal. And it fell to the right man as well. Kobayashi. Well, if that was a save from Hassan, the second one, that's an, 
incredible oh. save from him. Have a look at the reactions from that. I mean, when he makes a meal of that one, it's, it's tricky because it just skips off the turf just in front of him. He just has to react and stick a leg out. And the second one is just superb. Excellent save from Hassan there. Keeps them in this. What reflexes from Hassan Sani. What a great chance for Alberex. Now you're thinking Kankobayashi should have buried that. Confirmation of that uh, substitution titanary lead for Ilhan Fandi. Omori has skewed that clearance. Changing it up by bringing their experienced strikers on. There's Omori. Good work there from Harris. His first touch, I think. That one. He's going to be well rusty, isn't he? Yeah. I mean, they'll play for a while. It's a night. His performances as well, even before the the injury, don't think have been the best. Starts to come down again here on Jurong East. You know we've got the big man here in Kim Shinuk. You got Tadanari Lee. You had earlier at Song Weiyong. You had Ilhan Fandi. There's kind of similarities there, right? In the in the yeah. In the original strikers and then the men that they've replaced. Yeah. And again, I said, uh, I've said it, I think Ilhan coming in as, you know, with Tananari Lee being out of the side, I think it's almost given them a bit more mobility, a bit more pace in those attacking areas. You like the link up play as well? I like the link up play. But, I mean, it's two big names in Asian football Tananari Lee and Kim Shinop. Got two Singaporean forwards who've done yeah. a very good job, haven't they, in their stead. Here's Saifula. And now Lestien. He's going to start getting nervy. Diego Lopez. The shot's fairly well handled by Koga. A decent uh, hit from Diego Lopez, but he said really well handled by Koga. And this tricky surface. Saw Hassan struggling to deal with a bounce that happened just in front of him. Koga was able to read that. Double the number of shots today, almost from Rex Nagata. Some of them being, I mean, really guilt at opportunities, haven't they, Alvarez? Yeah. I mean, Sailors will point to the fact that in the first half they had openings those counter-attacking situations. Saifula, he's taking a hit. Not bad, not bad at all. Worth an attempt from range by Saifula. I mean, why not? It opened up for him and it was a decent shot in the end. Caused a bit of panic amongst that uh, players in that Elberic side. He's going to try and hit the far post. Zidetsu. Is he going to go for it? Picks that ball in. It's a looping header. And once again, that man delivers Idetsu. <laughs> Look who gets on the end of it. Tadanari Lee, both the big names who scored. Kim Shinook with a goal. Tadanari Lee coming up with a goal that pretty much, I think, seals this one up for Albrecht Nagata. It is to me a game they very much deserve to win. But Idetsu, look at that. 
time and space. What a ball. What a ball from Asai Idetsu. I think he goes level with Lestien in terms of assists in the league. But have a look at this. Chipped right onto the head of Tadanari Lee. An overload at the far post. Outnumbered there, Lanzi City Sailors defence. First time this season that the Sailors have conceded four. On, perhaps oh, desperate attempt to get at least two goals. Oh, they have got a change. The game of is on. Just got confirmation for you. Replaces Diego Lopez. Rafis Nor is replaced by Ikram Rifki. Yeah, so Nora Adams is just going to go and play out at right back. Ikram will play at left back. There we go. So reshuffle in that back line. Good play. All the hands now. Right, so say this is up to these 11 players somehow. Just drag themselves into this match again, but it's just not enough time, you feel. Adam is giving that away to Sugita. Here's Lee. Back to Sugita. Okay, the flag or not? Are they going to try and manage this? It's been one of the most uh, impressive 45 minutes you've seen of football by any side this season well, not just 45 90 minutes I think Albrecht from Albrecht's point from of view Albrecht's, yeah. you're talking about Albrecht yes. right? yeah from Albrecht's Negata I think they've had really good control of this game you know e even that second goal from Lion City Sailors came of because mistake, yeah. of a mistake because <laughs> Albrecht's players were showing that much intensity they were tackling Coming each other each basically <laughs> and, and this is what has impressed me a lot about Albrecht's this season is that there have been a number of occasions in this year's campaign where I've seen them control full matches yeah. in games where they've been in just full control. They've not allowed anything for, for the opposition. They've not given them much of a sniff. They are fighting all the way through. They're chasing, they're closing down. It's so impressive. The technical quality, the technical uh, level of this uh, Albrecht Negata side as well. And the fitness, the yeah. fitness levels, you know, just standing. Saipula. Too much on that for Kim Shinook, but it does for Kanli Ye Song. Oh. What a challenge! Absolutely brilliant. Let's go, Kakuta. Superb challenge by Kakuta. He had to get the timing of that spot on. Have a look at this. Song thinks I'm going to set myself for a shot here, and in comes a leg from Kumpe Kakuta. That just kind of sums up this Albrecht side. Tanaka, he's on a hat trick. Squares it. Mori with the shot. That came off uh, Gabriel Quack. They want more. <laughs> they want more. Well, you were also talking about a psychological blow, weren't you? Yeah, exactly. Albrecht's change now. And it's Sugita who makes way. I think he should have had a goal, Sugita, in the first half, but he's put in again another really good, strong shift for his team on the right hand side. Replaced by Sambogi. Started that last game, he's getting uh, sporadic appearances. Yeah, coming on late on in game, just to try and close it off on the right hand side. Yeah, good shift from Sugita. Oh, 
assuming that uh, they should close us out in the next five, six minutes Russian. It really is uh, a hammer blow, isn't it, for Lions and the Sailors? I think it is, because it's, uh, you look at it in terms of the, the performances overall. Yeah, the table will say it's, it's still tight, it's still close, there's still a long way to go, and, and, and yes, there is, but unless the Sailors get out of this rut that they're in, yeah. that they've been in over the last few matches or so, it's looking worrying, it's looking concerning here. There's a lot of work for Kim Do-hun to do with this side, a lot of work for these players to, to come up with some kind of response. Here's Song we on. Now Lestien with his right foot. Not really been able to have the kind of influence that he normally has, isn't he? I don't think he's fully fit. You can see, you know, that obviously a fully fit Lestien would be starting these games. Yeah. And again, I think the impact has been limited by just how good Elbrex have been in the defensive side of the game. You know, there's really been very little space to, to work with for Lion City Sailors in an attacking sense. Just the four minutes now. Enrique he could certainly do with some of his heroics times two. Seems a bit of hopeful ball up to Kim Shinook. Here's Harris. Saifula. Song. Kim Shinook. Ikram Rifki. Just waiting for the drop. Kim Shinook. It's wide. It'll be a corner though. A little bit of a deflection along the way. Oh, well, unfortunately, you get to see that one, but it is going to be another corner. There you go. Decent save in the end, isn't it? The header off Pedro Enrique by Koga. Well, with only two minutes left on the clock, I think the best you could probably hope for now is consolation for Lion City Sailors, but it's the long term, the bigger picture now that. I'm sure many will be looking at what this means for them. Full of running. Tadanari Lee, who's got that all-important fourth goal. The two goal hero today will make way a little cameo here for my hero Takahashi. He has certainly done his job once again. Kodai Tanaka. Frustrated challenge 
from Pedro Enrique. So now the points are very much safe with Albrecht Negata. Four minutes are up. Here's Sambongi. Substitution, so presumably another 30 seconds or so. This could well be the last bit of action now of this throw in. The Crumbrick key. Time for one more, perhaps. Well, that shot is skewed. Not that it's going to have any bearing on this. We'll play the full minute. It has been an absolutely superb performance for Alvarez Negata. A brilliant 90 minutes, as Rich Rush and Rai said earlier. They have been well rewarded today, Albrecht Negata. They continue to have this hoodoo over Lion City Sailors, the team that's never been beaten by them in the league. They have reduced that lead in the table to just two points. They have got a match in hand. There's a bit of temper spraying at the end here, Gabriel Quark. Not sure who he's upset with. Well, I think it might be Omori. Let that not take away from what has been an excellent day, an excellent night out, you should say, for Albrecht Negata, who from start to finish were brilliant. It's been perhaps, you could argue, a forgettable few days on the pitch for Lion City Sailors and perhaps just off it as well. And the honours certainly going towards the team in second place. But it is Albrecht Negata who know now, as of now, with still a fair bit of football to go, that destiny is in their own hands. But we aren't quite there yet, are we? And they still, by the way, get to renew acquaintances one more time on the penultimate match day of this compelling season. It's Kodai Tanaka with two goals. That really got them going. Anu actually started the whole score fest. Kim Shin Wook pulled one back, but it was Kan Kobayashi and then Tadanari Lee in that 84th minute that really helped to seal the points. The final score here at the Jurongi Stadium. It's Albrecht Negata 4, Lion City Sailors 2. Giselle, thank you very much indeed. Uh, you get some good games to call. You get some good <laughs> games to call in the AIA Singapore Premier League these days. Just uh, with Roshan, who's back with me in the studio right now. Uh, you know, at the end, I think we have to make mention of that uh, Gabriel Quack yellow card after the final whistle had gone there. I, I, I think after the week that... Um, uh, that They've this had. side have had, yeah. and, and given everything that was going on there, the last thing they needed was was more disciplinary issues no. post match. Right? No, they didn't need that at all. And uh, you know, thankfully, it was a lot of common sense among some of the rest of his teammates. Yeah. And I, I think what else it kind of actually says is it puts this thought in the minds of people watching that oh, you guys are feeling the pressure. Yeah, you guys yeah. are feeling it. Yeah. So you know, it adds a, right. even more doubt uh, onto the fact that they just lost this game against a side uh, putting them under pressure in the race for title. You spoke in commentary about a psychological blow. That is a damaging psychological blow today because the game was set up to be an absolute thriller, but by the second half, it was a rump in the end almost for Alvarez. But we go right back to Anu scoring. And <laughs> I mean, of course, we've seen that from, from, from players here in Asian football before, but uh, uh, okay. And why not? You know, he's been itching to get into this starting lineup. He played yeah. a great first half, scores a goal, and at this point, it's going great for his side. I'll tell you what, it feels like a long time ago now. That uh, this when this one went in, I mean, a quickly taken free kick uh, leading to that opportunity, deflected. Uh, but for Anu, I mean, he won't care. 
And the fact that they hit back straight away was a real hammer blow for Lion City Sailors here. I think this response, quick response from Albrecht Nogata was, uh, was so important for them. You know, the, the fact that they were able to get themselves back on level terms so quickly. Lovely work down the right-hand side to create that space for Idetsu to send a cross in. Amirul Adli, I mean, his body shape is all over the place. He's ball watching there. Uh, and Kodai Tanaka has it's got a good run in. He's got the momentum of that run to go in and meet the cross with the header. He's just more aggressive in that situation. He wants it a little bit more and he gets the goal uh, as his reward. We've Lovely seen, delivery. We, sorry, we've seen a couple of brilliant goals in this game. I think this one was obviously the pick of the goals in the first half. Again, I know you highlighted that the Defending, but let's also talk a bit about the quality there. Yeah, of course. I mean, in both aspects of the game, uh, there was highlight that was the work uh, that was put in by Elbrex to create those goals. And the technique on this strike is wonderful. Plenty of pace, really good pace, uh, right into the corner as well, which is always going to cause a goalkeeper an issue. Uh, but he should never have been given that opportunity to cut inside onto his favourite right foot and get the angle in the shot. First of all, here as well, Kan Kobayashi, can a midfielder step up to him and try and close him down before he, he plays the pass out wide? Cuts inside, puts a lot of pace and spin on that, and he beats uh, a very good goalkeeper. Yeah, good work by the camera. That's good, yeah. uh, good follow that, good angle, that one. And then onto the second half. Well, it didn't go the way that we thought it might have done, because as it turned out, Alvarez just went up another gear, didn't they? Was this a bit too easy? in terms of being able to get that shot away around his marker and then beat Hassan Sonny at the net post. It was. I mean, Elbrecht's made Lion City Sailors have to work incredibly hard to create opportunities. Whereas for Elbrecht, you had a feeling that any time they sort of wanted to, they could create an opening, they could create an opportunity. Skips past Pedro Enrique that uses the momentum of that run of the defender uh, against him. You know, look, they outnumber the Lion City Sailors on this transition, on this counter-attack. They get more bodies in there, into those areas. Lovely bit of quality. Opens his body up. Hassan perhaps thinks he might go towards the far post instead he squeezes it in at the, at the near post. Now, appeals for a foul there, but I think he went off his own man. And then this one was expertly finished in the end by Shin, who, uh, who's got that in him. Yeah, that goal. I mean, finishing like this is exactly why you bring a player of uh, Kim Shinook's uh, experience and quality uh, into your side. And he stepped up big there. Lions of the Sailors were struggling to create clear-cut chances. And this is a very good finish from Kim Shinook. And again, it's come about because of a mistake from Elbrex Negata because they've shown so much intensity. It's just a situation, unfortunately for them, where two players have run into each other, Sugita and Kobayashi. Uh, nice cut back into Kim Shinook, but it's a lovely finish. At this stage, we thought we might be set for a grandstand finish, but Alberex had uh, other ideas. Yeah. They continue to create chances. This is one of the greatest saves I think I've seen this season. <laughs> if that right-handed save, which it was, you know, I mean, that's incredible. We're probably going to have an award for goal of the season come the end of the year. I think we should have an award for save of the season. You know, there's some really good saves this uh, SPL campaign. This is right up there. Have a look at the reactions on that. And to get it over that's, the bar as that's well. 37, is it, year old? Yeah. Hassan Sun? 37, 38? I don't know. Oh, it just what? doesn't even matter anymore. <laughs> it's just reflexes. Incredible save from Hassan there. And it should have been done and dusted. Eventually, it would be. Let's talk about this fellow Idetsu. Uh, you mentioned the stats earlier on. Uh, just look at that chip. That's a golf shot. Yeah. Oh. The way he just lifts it onto the run of, of Tadanari Lee is incredible. The weight of that cross. He, just, he doesn't even care that, you know, Tadanari Lee is scored. He's just gone off to celebrate on his own there. You know, I've created two chances, two great crosses that I've delivered. But have a look at this. I mean, look at the time and space. And again, they outnumber the Lion City Sailors yeah. in the box on the transition. Wonderful, wonderful work. Quick word about the return of Tadanari Lee. What another bonus this is for Alberex. Ilhan is an absolutely brilliant. But to yeah. have him back fit at this stage of the season, major bonus. A big boost for them. And, you know, again, he can sort of come into these situations where they needed a bit of experience at the end just to help see the game out. Let's have a look at these stats then. So you spoke about it being Arborex's day, and most certainly it was, statistically as well as on the evidence of what we saw on that pitch. 18 shots, nine of them on target, and, uh, of course, scoring four goals from those nine shots on target. Four corners to seven. Okay, they didn't need to do it from the set pieces, but that is an outstanding display of uh, outfield play by Arborex and yeah. Nigata here today. Day. Well, let's just remind ourselves what it's done to the title race, what it has made it sumptuous, juicy, exciting, an incredibly tight top of the table now. And it's in their hands with that game in hand. Remember, they play next uh, out of these two sides next Friday against Haogang. They have an opportunity to go to the top of the table.
Yeah, big result for Albrecht Nagata, and then that pressure on the Lion City Sailors just keeps building and building. And Albrecht's now it's in their hands, pretty much. You know, go on, and you've done the hard work. Now go on and try and continue that with the, the, with a good performance in the next game. The only thing is, we did see after the last encounter between these two sides that both were capable of dropping points. There was a <laughs> the shock loss for Albrecht against Tanzan Paga. There were yeah. draws against Haugang and Geylang for Lion City Sailors. So I know we identify these games, and I know these two sides play in the penultimate round of matches mm. uh, on October seventh or something yeah. like. Like that but we can't say that that is going to be the defining fixture can we no we can't i think you still expect a couple of perhaps twists and turns in in the mm -hmm. title race here but what it has done is i think it's given elbrecht's negata a huge psychological boost and it's a it's a blow for the land city sailors just going to jump in here this is a key moment for this football club yeah. you can see jmo who translates for yeah. uh, kim uh, dohun there these are important times and words right very important time and it's not just about what they do here he's trying to give them a little bit of a lift you know because he knows the last few weeks have not been good enough the performances have not been good enough they're in a bit of a rut there's a bit of a blip here the line city sailors are going through and for a side with that sort of investment with that sort of quality in the squad i think you have to you know always put them under a little bit more pressure it's very difficult to come up with excuses for them it's yeah. very difficult to excuse this sort of thing you expect them to be you know, winning matches and really imposing themselves on the opposition. Instead, it's Elbrex Negata, a side with lots of young players who've actually That's shown right. who's boss tonight. So, so a week of highs and lows for Lion City Sailors, the champions. But it's not all about these two clubs. This league is about far more than that. Let's remind you about the entertainment we've got for you coming up this weekend. Tampanese Rovers take on Haugang United. Tampanese having won just one of the last five. Haugang have won two of their last five. So both sides will be looking to get some kind of form as they run in towards the end of the season. Tanjong Pagi United take on Geylang International, who have won four out of their last five. That's a game I'm really looking forward to. Yeah. Contrast in styles, that should be a good one uh, tomorrow at Jurong East. Uh, Sunday sees Ballester Khalsa looking to pick up a much-needed victory. They take on Young Lions, uh, two relative strugglers in recent times. Of course, Young Lions can't buy a victory right now. And then Geylang go again in midweek on Wednesday as they take on Tampanese. What's the pick of the fixtures for you coming up here? Well, uh, listen, tomorrow's fixtures, both those games, Tampanese Rovers against Haugang United, Tanjung Paga against Geylang International, both those games are huge for potential AFC Cup qualification for next season and it's so compact in the table as well with those four sides I think competing for those spots yep. so you know lots to, to look ahead to uh, in this weekend in the SPL plenty to look ahead to just one final word on what we've seen tonight that as far as top of the table clashes is as good as you'll get isn't it tonight I think so I really think so I think Elbrex have really laid down a marker here and they've uh, delivered a blow to the Lion City Sailors. All right, Roshan, thank you very much indeed. I really hope you've enjoyed our coverage. Thanks so much for being with us here as the AIS Singapore Premier League has just continued to build and build, particularly in terms of the title race. Plenty more to come this weekend. I hope you enjoyed. But for now, from all of us who bring you these broadcasts, thanks for watching. See you soon.